In today's video, I want to talk about one of my hands down favorite apps, and it's called Polycan. Now, if you've been watching my videos before, if you've seen any of the previous ones, you may have heard me talk about it. And I would have talked about it in regards to its uh, photogrammetry capabilities. But Polycam is so much more than that. Now, if you haven't seen those videos, you can check them out around here. Um, I'll put some cards at the end of the video as well, so you can check them out then. So the point of this video is going to be walking you through Polycam's feature set. Um, everything the app can do, um, all the different formats you can export to, and talk about the pros and some of the cons. But uh, before we get into it, it's worth mentioning that this video is not sponsored by Polycam at all. I hold no affiliation. I, I really am just a fan of their product. So the first feature I want to talk about is photogrammetry. Now, yes, I've talked about this before, but I do think it is one of the things Polycam does best. With photogrammetry, you are able to 3D scan and capture objects with incredible detail. Now, the only downside is it does not do well against reflective or transparent surfaces, such as glass, mirrors, metallic surfaces, things like that. And it does take a lot of patience to get right. But when the results are good, they are very good, like seriously good. Now there is a rule of thumb when it comes to photogrammetry. And that is that when you're taking your photos, you want about 70% overlap with the previous photo, because essentially with photogrammetry, um, it takes two images and the common points between those images to form an object. Now, if you want to know more about photogrammetry in general, um, I would recommend checking out William Foucher. He does videos all about photogrammetry um, and implementing it in Unreal. Now, he uses Reality Capture, which is a desktop app, I believe. But if you want to know more about the ins and outs of photogrammetry itself, check out his stuff. It's Unreal. I loved it. I've learned so much from him. So photogrammetry is one of my favorite parts of Polycam. And again, it's one of the things Polycam does really well. And it's also worth mentioning that photogrammetry is, as far as I know, the only mode that's available on Android. I'll be honest, I haven't used the Android version of Polycam, so I can't confirm this. But I do know that the next two features require LiDAR, which Android phones don't have. Speaking of which, let's talk about the LiDAR mode. So LiDAR mode is only available on devices that have a LiDAR sensor, such as the iPhone Pro series phones or the iPad Pros. And in my experience, this mode is best for capturing spaces and doing scans of rooms or entire houses. But I found this mode to be the hardest to get right. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of practice. I found with this mode in particular, you have to be really slow and really methodical when you're capturing a space. I haven't figured it out quite yet and I've gotten mixed results at best, but Polycam do have some tutorials on their YouTube channel as well as in-app to kind of walk you through the process. Now it is a little tricky because it's, it's almost like you need to kind of pre-plan the route you're gonna take when scanning a room. And again, I just, I haven't quite figured it out yet. So that's not a criticism of the LiDAR mode. It's just from my experience, it's the hardest one to get right. But last summer I did use it to scan my entire childhood home um, as my parents were selling it. And I thought it would be a nice way to kind of hold on to the memories of that home uh, and how it looked at the time. And in general, the results were okay. Uh, you're not going to look at it and think, oh, wow, that's that's my home as I remember it. But it definitely captures the essence and, say, the vibe of the room. As well as that, it captured the scale and sizing very accurately. So I think if you are a professional looking to use this mode, um, if you're someone who works in real estate or in architecture or and need something to actually scan a space for professional reasons and not so much sentimental, then this tool is fantastic. Again, it just takes time to master. So the last of Polycam's main features is what I think the coolest, and that is their room scale mode, or I think maybe just room mode. And this is Polycam's newest feature, but it runs off of 
Apple's Room Plan API. And basically, it uses the LiDAR scanner to create a 3D floor plan of a room, including all the key characteristics of the room, as well as dimensions and the types of furniture and appliances in that room. And when you use this yourself, it is just the coolest thing. I used it last year when I was actually moving into this room from my old room. And what I was able to do was scan both rooms. This room was totally empty, so it was fine. I was able to just scan as is. And then my old room, I had all my furniture. So I had this bookshelf, I had my bed over here. And it was super easy to just scan everything, have very accurate 3D models, albeit very simple looking. But I was able to then bring those models into Blender, break all the different objects apart because Polycam makes them all separate objects when you export as a .obj. Then it was super simple to just start placing my furniture in different parts of this room, seeing what layout worked best. That way, when it came to moving stuff in, I could just put it in place, knowing that I'd done the work ahead of time to pre-visualize and know what it was gonna look like. But again, this mode is really one that you have to actually use and um, sure you can kind of get the vibe by watching the b-roll but actually using it yourself you'll see how impressive this is the 3d augmented reality model that overlays on all your furniture and walls and details just is insane okay so you've got your scans you could have scanned it in a multitude of different ways as we can see but what can you do once you actually have those scans in the app well there are a few things. You can crop your scan to whatever size you want and remove any unwanted parts. You can use the ruler to measure part of your scan. You can export out a custom video of your scan and use one of the default movements or create your own custom path around your scan. You can view your scan as a floor plan. This one is especially useful if you've scanned a space with the room scale mode because you'll see all the accurate measurements of your room. You can extend your scan to include additional rooms if you've used, say, like the LiDAR mode and you wanna capture the entire house. You can rescale your scan so it's more accurate and true to life when it comes to size. You can view your scan in augmented reality, or you can reprocess your scan to be a different level of detail. So as you can see, that's quite a lot. And one of my favorite things to do is view it in uh, augmented reality. But what's cool is if you scan a room or space and view it in augmented reality, you can view it in the scale that it actually exists as. So you can view it in room scale and move around it in augmented reality. Or similarly, you could take that scale and squeeze it down to be tiny, tiny little scale that can sit on your desk. And then you can move around in augmented reality, looking at your desk as if you're a giant. It's, it's really cool. I love it. Okay, you've got your scans, you've rescaled them, you've cropped them, you've done all that. Now it's time to export. And this is the main con of Polycam let's say, because this part is not cheap. You see, to export any of your scans in any of the formats available, you have to pay. You have to subscribe to the app, and it's about $75 a year. Now, that's up to you to kind of figure out if it's worth it or not. For me personally, I do think it's worth it. I have a lot of fun with this app. I get a lot of use out of it. If you're a professional, no brainer. If you're not sure, there is a free trial available so you can try it out for a certain amount of time and then decide. But what that does unlock is a ton of different formats for you to use. There's things like OBJ, GLTF, which is great if you want to bring these into Blender, USDZ, and there's point clouds, blueprints you can export. There's a ton. Um, there's a bunch of formats that I don't even understand and I've never heard of before but that's because they're probably for professionals. But thankfully with the free version, you can do pretty much everything aside from exporting your scans. So you'll kind of know just from using it for a while, whether or not it's worth it to you. And I, I, I just really have to admire or commend Polycam, I do admire them, but I commend them for this style of business plan where you get the full functionality of their app upfront. It's just, if you want to use it elsewhere, you have to pay, which, Fair enough. I, I don't mind that. It means that like I know that I'm getting my money's worth. I used the free version for about a year before I actually paid for it and I thought it was worth the money. I hope this video was helpful in any way. If you've been looking into Polycam and maybe deciding whether or not you want to buy it or or even just figure out what all the stuff is, like what's the big deal? If you found it helpful, let me know. Uh, I'd love to know.
And if you end up scanning anything and uploading it to Polycam's library, uh, please uh, link it in the comments. I'd I'd love to see anything that you scan. I I think that'd be so cool. So anyway, thank you for checking this out. This video. Right? My name is Rob. I'll see you in the next one.